This is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Huh. Vegas. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. There's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs? is Shinra turf, and the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now.
care what she said. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Oh, made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Under Junon's a fascinating little town. Their water is especially so. I mean the color. This beauty comes at a dangerously high price, though. It's worth documenting before it's gone. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects, brittle houses in the sea air, pink chipping and wood... Bending, time moving on, and the light here, the way it bounces off the ocean below and the metal above, a pastiche of contrasts, the stark steel beams, the weather-beaten homes, the drying fish. Shinra's rigs are sturdy as all hell. So big, they barely rock. Which means no more seasickness. Granted, swabbing the deck and untangling nets ain't glamorous work. But better to be out there than stuck on shore. Plus, it gives us more opportunities to prove that we're officer material. Who do you think will get licensed first? Me or you? Wanna make a bet? Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a special girl. Cute as a button and clever to boot. It's no wonder that Dolphin has taken a liking to her. Priscilla's even managed to teach her Dolphin some tricks. She's our town's pride and joy, I tell you. They got any new books here? <laughs> so, what'll it be? Interconnected ships. Priscilla's even managed to oil, coal, wind. Hey, you see that trio? All this lodging that's all been spun. Dave's Chocobo Express! Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? People here, they hate the lack of sunlight, but not me. I like it this way, though I'd never tell them that, of course. Must be a crowd up there now, what with the others. So they got fishing gear too, huh? <laughs> what can I do you for? You take care of yourself, okay? I should just do it. Just buy the sword. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition, but people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. 
waters here used to be teeming with fish, practically jumping to your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters, and I ain't talking tuna. Shinra just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea, too. All right, let's see what's fighting. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Are they trying to storm? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. You've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. But wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Not every day we bring in this many fish. Many fish. Tomorrow's call is just Hello there. Room for one.
together. I'll take care of them. You're okay. One more shot. You've got this. My turn. <laughs> 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 Hey! <laughs> 
Thanks for coming to help! You can do it! <laughs> She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. I need to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. God, she's so cold. Somebody, help! I need to get her breathing again. Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh there are from the splinter cell splinter cell they used to be with avalanche but left after a policy dispute <sighs> easy they're guests of mine and this one was trying to save your life he was Ugh, nice going yuffie call the guy a creep why don't you you big moron <laughs> Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? 
Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing, can tell you that much. When an old salt like me says you ought to keep your feet on dry land, you listen. guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? So wait! You won't be sorry! Promise! Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. in the heroes of the hour i heard about what you did for that girl thank you so much your stay is on us we insist it's the least we can do for you really now then how many we got will four rooms be enough <clears throat> uh, could you make it five five it is oh everything is comped so if you need anything at all just ask don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. It's open. So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. No. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Feels like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. 
So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... smell them till it's too late. Don't worry. Never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all to you then. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach?
Okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Mm. <sighs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, 